Accent rugs are one of the easiest ways to add a little splash of color to spaces in your home. But wouldn't it be great if you could make your own? Well, we have a kit that's going to allow you to do that. And I was so glad to have something like this back for QVC because we haven't had crafting items in quite a long time. But when our buyer showed this to me, I thought, you know, this is something that I think everybody can do and it'll really make a splash in those small areas. First of all, you need to pick your kit and color. So there are three different options for you. And the base color of the rug and the paints that you get with the kit will be different for each. So let me just show you what your options are. If you decide to choose the option called Vine, you'll get a soft sage background and the paint colors are kind of a terracotta and a deeper vine. That's the pattern also that you're going to get here, sort of a floral design. If you decide to choose one called Flourish, I love this for fall, a little bit warmer Mojave brown color and then sort of a Merlot with a soft terracotta color as well. This has more of a fleur de lis design. And then if you choose the Geometric, this has a very sort of soft beige with a little tinge of like a mineral blue, but the colors pop. You've got this wonderful grass green and this pop of blue that will give you the same motif, so it's a little bit more modern. Here's how easy it is to use. So in your kit, you're going to get your stencil. So all you have to do on this 18 by 30 inch rug, which is, you know, really nice size for your mudroom in front of your kitchen sink, maybe next to a little small child's bed, you're going to lay down and space out your stencil. Now you'll get rulers and spacers so you'll know exactly Exactly where to place but just for demonstration I'm going to show you how easy this is you get these great paints now these aren't traditional paints they're actually mineral based and I'm going to show you that if you make a mistake you can actually vacuum up the mistake before you have to commit to the design which we love so it's just this easy the one tip I would have when you do this is to try to do it in sweeping motion and you're really going to hold your paint can upside down just like this so I'm going to do the letter J and I would do one pass to kind of see what you like. Now, if you decide, oh, I did it a little bit globby, don't worry about it. That's why you take your paper towels and you just very gently blot it like that. Now, if you lift that up and decide, oh, you know what, that's not quite dark enough for me, you can always go back and give it another coat. So again, try to just do about eight inches above and then do your spraying motion over the top. You might need to continue to shake it. That's something that happens to keep that paint flowing, okay? You're going to let that dry once you get your pattern done for about 48 hours. And here's the beauty of this. After 48 hours, here's another design we did. Let's say I had a little bit of overspray, or maybe I decided this wasn't quite the pattern for me. All you have to do, grab your handy vacuum, and you can actually vacuum up those mineral paints. Have you ever seen anything like this? I think this is so neat. So go over the areas where maybe you made a little mistake or you had a little bit of an overspray and you can actually vacuum it up and start over again. It doesn't become permanent until you spray the seal on top. Now this kit is not something you're gonna find anywhere else. QVC is the only place where you'll find these designs, these colors. We really put this together for you just for your home with Jill. Once you've put your seal on, you wanna just let it set. I mean, you can put it in the area you wanna use it, but I wouldn't vacuum over it for about 10 days. Once that's taken place, you have this really nice, super soft, lush mat, like you would buy in any type of a store, but it's something that you've made yourself. It's something that really works with the colors of your home. It's something that really says, I did this, because crafts and, and DIY projects really don't have to be hard. They can be very, very simple, when you have the right tools. And that's something that we really worked hard to put together for you here. Let me show you those color options again one more time. And the other thing I want you to see is that even once you have the paints on here, this is still really soft. This is still really smooth. So it's a really nice plush, thick material, flat on the back, super flush on top. This is the one that we're calling Vine. So you have this pretty sage green background. And then the colors that come with this are a beautiful terracotta and then a little bit deeper shade of sage. Again, Again, the pattern is that floral and vine motif. Here is the one that we call Flourish, and this is the one that has that deeper Mojave brown background with a little bit of burgundy and then that wonderful deeper terracotta. You can also use other stencils that you have here. You don't have to just use the ones that we include in the kit, but it's a pretty nice place to start. And in honor of your home with Jill, here's the kit that we call our geometric with those big circles that you can use in blues and greens, plus you have all of your letter stencils as well. I thought there were 
were so many more creative ideas that you could do with this kit that we actually sent it to some of my favorite home and lifestyle bloggers. You can check out their great ideas and their rug transformations on my blog site on QVC.com.